Oof. Man, you know, I really wanted my next video to be motivational, to kind of like hype everybody up, you know, to get us, you know, it's on the level we need to be, but I just can't make that video yet. So guys, I would say today, you know, there's been a lot of days in this business where I think today is the craziest day ever, right? Just stuff is going wrong, but like not really big wrong stuff, you know, it just kind of makes it annoying. You have to like keep looking for different loads, you're trying to mix and match. Like you get some crazy days, right? And I like that. It motivates me to work harder, find, find better loads through the whole nine. But today has just been a crazy day. So if you guys know um, Jared, we booked that load for Jared. If you didn't see, I put a picture up. I'll put another picture up. It's supposed to be 8,400 pounds for Cliff. It was going to get him out of, you know, Washington, you know, get him where he needed to go. Obviously, the forklift ended up weighing 11,600 pounds. Um, and when I talk to the dispatcher, man, I always make sure to ask how positive are we on the weight? And the guy's like, I've already pulled the specs on it. It's 8,400 pounds. I said, great, man. No problem. Let's get it done. But nope, definitely was not 8,400 pounds. I'm glad we got that off our trailer. We actually didn't run it because it was actually flexing the trailer a little bit. So I'm glad that did not that load did not happen to an extent, right? So that load didn't happen, right? And let me even try to remember how many loads canceled on us right now. I'm thinking. So here we go. So that load did not happen, right? So I call a guy. He has a load going from somewhere in Washington, right? We had a little bit of deadhead. It wasn't too bad. Um, going from there to Las Vegas, Nevada. Now it was a partial, okay? I think it was 20 feet, 4,000 pounds. And I call him and I'm like, hey, you know, what rate do you have on this? He's like, well, the customer's looking for a rate. He's a new customer with us. I said, no problem. He's like, how, how, what, what, what can you do it for? And I said, 20 feet, 4,000 pounds, what is it? He's like, yeah, you just got to strap it down. I said, awesome, we'll do it for $1,700, right? So $1.70 a mile, about 1,000 miles. For partial, taking up half my weight, half my space, I think it's, it was a good price for it, right? So he calls me back. He's like, hey, man, we got the load, um, but could you do 16 on it? And I was like, uh, yeah, we can do 16 on it, right? I, you know, I thought it was a quality load. It'd get us down to better weather, you know. We'd be able to go through Salt Lake. You know, it'd be a good load for us. So he's like, okay. He's like, and obviously he sent me the carrier packet before, you know, so I was filling out the carrier packet with him. He's like, this guy is a new, he's like, we have the load. Um, I'm pretty sure on it. This guy is a new customer, though, so we're going to have to have him like he has to set himself up with us right so about 30 minutes go by and i've filled up a carrier packet he has my insurance and everything and i say hey man how's it looking um and he calls me at about 30 minutes after that and he says uh he says no it was about 40 minutes of waiting i'd say and he says actually man we couldn't get this 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 customer with us we couldn't get him uh um cleared with with our um with their credit, right? So they do like a credit thing where you don't have to prepay, the customer doesn't have to prepay, you know, they'll haul the freight for you, you pay them afterwards. So they couldn't get him cleared for that and so the load basically dropped. And I was like, crap, bro. And he's like, yeah, man, I'm sorry. And it was like, it was just whatever. I was like, okay, no problem, man. Like, let's just keep looking to stay motivated, keep going, right? So then I get a call. And the guy's like, hey, yeah, I have this uh, I have this load pretty close to you. We just need 35 feet of deck space, 8,000 pounds, some machinery tar machinery parts. You know, it's a pretty hot load. It's going about 450 miles. We're paying $1,300 on it. And I said, okay, man, um, I was kind of thinking, you know, where's it going to put us? I was going from Washington. It was actually staying in Washington. I was going from Portland, Oregon right there. So basically Washington right there to Spokane, you know. So that was the route right there, give or take a little bit. And so I was like, okay, man, you know, sounds good. And he's like, how far are you? And I'm like, I'm a little far away. I did have a little bit of deadhead. He's like, okay, we definitely have this load. Go ahead, send your driver that way. Um, we'll get you the carrier packet. We'll get you the Raycon, everything good to go. And I said, awesome, man. So he sends me the carrier packet and his carrier packet is like pretty annoying. I had to like input everything. He had a lot of pages on it. They wanted me to send them references because they said our authority was newer and we have like over four months of authority right now. Um, and I was like, okay, man, I'm gonna send you everything. So I get that all set up. I get my insurance over and he's like, okay, bro, what's your ETA to arrival? I'm like, my guy, he's about two hours out from pickup, you know, and this load was paying really good per mile. I mean, it turned out being about $3 per mile. Um, and so I wasn't worried about the little bit deadhead that we had. 
Um, and his boss had told him, you know, we're good to go. Get that guy over there. This is a hot load. Let's pick it up. And then about 30 minutes after that, the guy hits me back up. He says, hey, man, I have all your stuff. They're working on getting you set up, you know, up upstairs. Uh, but I do have some bad news, man. Something went down. This load actually got canceled. And I said, wow, okay. And the funny thing was that the the guy, the first guy from the load that was going to Las Vegas actually called me um, while I was booking this load. And he's like, hey, man, I actually did get that person uh, set up. You know, we're good to go on the load if you still want it. And I said, man, you know, I actually just booked another load. <laughs> so, like, I got out of cancel on him, you know, to an extent. And then I ended up giving him a call back and say, hey, man, it's still there. And he's like, nah, man, we lost it there. And so that's been kind of my day with Jared today. Um has been pretty crazy, man. Uh, but that's not even the end of it, guys. So I was booking for Carlos as well. And Carlos actually is up in Washington um, as well right now. And what we did with him was he wants to get back to Wisconsin where he's from, right? So I found a couple partials. One of the partials, six pieces of piping. Um, it was going to weigh about 6,000 pounds. It was just 20 feet. Did not have to be tarped or nothing, right? They were paying. They only paid a dollar a mile on it. Um, it was $2,300 on like 20 200 miles so a little bit over a dollar a mile so i was like okay this is going to be great for carlos because he really wants to get home you know we need to take this opportunity to get him that way um and so i booked that load raycon everything good to go i then found another partial it was a little polaris it was going to um illinois but i routed it all out it really wasn't added it added maybe 50 more miles to the route you know just to drop down a little bit and keep going um, and it was just paying an extra thousand dollars, you know, and it's like a thousand pounds, 10 feet. It's going to be perfect, right? Put those together. We're looking at about $3,300 on 2000 miles or on 2,100 miles, which I mean, isn't, isn't the best, right? But it was really going to work out. He really wanted to get home, you know? And I was like, we, we got to like seize this opportunity, you know? So, um, with the Polaris, right? I talked to this guy, the guy's like, yeah, man, let me make sure we still have it. He's like, yeah, we still have it. Um, I send him all the, all the stuff he needs. He sends me a Raycon. We book the load, right? And as my guy's going to get loaded with the piping, the guy gives me a call back. He said, hey, you know. Oh, and the funny thing with this guy was, he was like, hey, man, if I tell him we can do it, can we do it? And I said, yeah, man. Like, 100%, we're going to be there. We're going to pick it up. We're going to put it on our trailer. No problem, right? He's like, okay, I trust you. I was like, awesome. So we set up. He gives me Raycon, everything. Then he calls me back, and he says, hey, man, actually... Um, we don't have the load anymore because this load was basically booked through a site that does basically what U-Ship does to an extent, but for brokers. Um, and the the customer actually accepted the wrong bid on the load. And so he actually accepted it from a different company. And for him to cancel with that company, he has to pay 15%. So he's not going to pay that. Um, and so we lost the load. And so I was like, dude, what the flip ever, man. And I was so salty because he was like all on me about us being like, you know, there and everything. And I was like, yeah, man, I'm going to be there, whatever. So then we get to the piping. So we get to the piping, right? There's six pieces of piping, 20 feet, 6,000 pounds, right? So Carlos rolls up, you know, and I'm like, okay, we're going to run with this piping because I'm going to, we still, it's only going to take 20 feet. We still got 16 feet left. We still got, you know, roughly 4,000 pounds. Like we can find some partials to make some money on the way down there, right? This piping's going to pay for the gas, pay for the overhead, you know, and then we're just going to make straight cash going down, right? So that was our mindset, right? So we're still going to go ahead with the piping. Um, and we get there and it turns out it's not six pieces of 20 foot pipe. It's one piece of 35 foot pipe, two pieces of 30 foot pipe, piece of 25 foot pipe and two pieces of 20 foot pipe. Right. So, and they actually, they actually wanted a tarp. They, they, they didn't just want a tarp though. They wanted plastic around it. They wanted the whole thing like wrapped up like a present, you know, so it's not even touching the, the trailer. Right. So I call, I call, you know, I call the broker and I'm like, hey, listen up. This is not what it is. You know, the weight's still correct, but, you know, they're talking. This is this is what it is. You know, this piece of pipe, that piece of pipe is not just 20 foot. And he's she's like, wow, that's crazy. And obviously, we're not going to move it for a dollar, you know, a dollar foot because that's going to take our whole trailer, right? Or a dollar a mile. Um, and so I tell her, we're talking, you know, she's like, let me confirm with the customer. That's what it is. You talk to your driver, see what rate, you know, you can get for it or what rate you guys would be comfortable with. You know, we'll go from there. So he talks, we, me and Carlos talk, she confirms it. He's like, Hey, let's do 4,500 bucks. I was like, yeah, man, I think we can get 4,500 bucks. You know, it's more than it's about $2 a mile. Right. Um, a little bit more. So it'd be, a, it turned out to be a really good load if we can get it for 4,500 bucks. Right. So she takes a while to kind of confirm it. I give her the price, you know, 4,500 bucks. She then takes a, a while trying to come back at us and it wasn't really her fault. You know, it was more, you know, the customer saying yay or nay. Right. 
Um, so my guy Carlos is literally at this pickup and like these people are like pressuring him. They're like, yeah, just load it. Like, let's just load it on your trailer. Like everything's gonna be okay. And he's like, no, like I have, I had this a little book. Like we were making sure we're getting paid for it. And people are like, no, put it on your trailer, put it on your trailer. And they keep like hounding him about it. And I'm like, dude, don't put it on the trailer. And he's like, yeah, I'm not going to put it on the trailer. I was like, let me make sure we're going to get paid for it first and then we'll load it up. Right. So she calls me back. We agree on the price of $4,200. So if we do 4,200 divided by I actually think it was like 2,300 miles. I think it's like $1.87 a mile um, for this load. So it ended up working out really good, you know, the, the piping. We get, we get paid really good. He's able to go home. He's able to be over in the Midwest and kind of get out of the Washington area. Uh, but it was just funny how everything went down, especially with, you know, the Polaris canceling. But then it actually, we actually needed the Polaris to cancel so that the piping would be able to fit on our trailer. So, yeah, guys, that's what today has been for your boy. I'm still motivated. I still feel great, you know, and we're going to get stuff to work out. But this stuff happens all the time, guys. You need to be aware of it. Um, and I try to ask, you know, these straight up questions. You know, a lot of times, you know, if I'm feeling comfortable with the broker and I really believe the load's going to be there, I'm going to send my guy there, you know, so we can get ahead of the game. You know, and if I if I end up driving 20 miles or 30 miles and, you know, it gets canceled, so be it. You know what I'm saying? Um, but, yeah, guys, it's been crazy. That's what's happened today. Um, but this stuff happens, man. I want to make a video where it's like, yeah, everything's going great, but this stuff goes down. You know, Carlos... Ended up picking up a really good load for a non city hotshot going a long way. So we're super happy about that. Um, Jared, we still got to get a load for Jared. Still watching the, the boards, getting him out of there. Luis is doing really good. Luis is heading up to Washington right now. We go to Washington a lot. I don't know why, but we're always heading to Washington. But we get paid good for it, so I'm, I'm chill with it. But, yeah, guys, I want to make this quick video kind of describing what happened to us today. Cancel. Three of those canceled. One load was not what it was described to be, but it's all going to work out in the end. Love you guys. Thank you guys so much. Hope you all have a great day. Talk to you later.